with not less than a month to go for assembly elections in Telangana, a close fight is expected between the ruling and the incumbent Bharat Rashtra Samiti and the Congress party. Although the BJP has tried to make inroads in the region, it remains a distant third contender, with the primary fight being between BRS and the Congress. For the past two elections, the Chief Minister of Telangana, KCR, has been leveraging the sentiment of Telangana statehood and the years-long fight for it. While it has proven to be successful for him until now, many in the state believe that this time, people's local issues and concerns with the existing schemes might overpower the regional sentiment of the Telangana agitation. During this agitation, the focus was on three major issues, water, jobs and financial stability. And now, almost a decade later, these issues still remain key for voters to decide who will form the next government. On the ground too, these issues are taking centre stage ahead of the polls. Firstly, beginning with the mounting anger against the delay in fulfilling government jobs. Ever since the formation of Telangana, the state's public service examinations have been marred with irregularities that are more so at the administrative level. Along with causing distress to over 3 lakh government job aspirants who are awaiting employment, the issue has also gained ground in the election campaigns of the BJP and the Congress who are accusing the BRS government of corruption in the process of conducting the exams. Secondly, while KCR and his government have been known for their welfare programs like the Raitu Bandhu scheme for farmers, the Dalit Bandhu scheme for Dalits and similar schemes that were launched for the poor, women and other marginalized communities, a lot of these schemes have been criticized for merely being an election gimmick and excluding vulnerable sections of the population. For example, KCR government's flagship Raitu Bandhu scheme, which was announced ahead of the 2018 elections, excludes about 30% of the farmers in the state who are tenant farmers. The cash support from the scheme goes only to the land title holder directly, pushing many of these tenant farmers into debt and distress and driving them to die by suicide. Farmers associations and farm leaders say that despite reaching out to the BRS over the past few years to recognize tenancy and include a crop insurance policy, the party has consistently refused to recognize tenant farmers. Although this time around the Congress has included welfare measures to recognize tenancy in its manifesto, farmer associations believe that as some farmers also have political affiliations, it could be difficult to tilt the vote completely in favor of the Congress. Meanwhile, the Congress and the BJP have been trying to consolidate different sections of the population through their promises and schemes. One such important section are the Dalits. When KCR was made Chief Minister in 2014, he had promised to make a Dalit as a Chief Minister of Telangana one day, a promise which hasn't seen light to this day. The BJP, which has been accused of colluding with the BRS, has now capitalized on this missed opportunity and promised that if BJP is elected, Telangana will one day have a backward class chief minister. The Congress, meanwhile, has been riding on its Karnataka model of guarantees and has promised a caste census if voted to power. With the BJP and the Congress fighting to consolidate the minority votes and the MIM, which already has a stronghold over these votes, some also worry that these minority votes could now be split between the parties. For now, the fight with Congress seems to be closer than the BRS had hoped for it to be. While both these parties are taking claim for the statehood movement, the question of whether the spirit of Telangana struggle as an election plank will work or not will be answered on December 3rd.